my Sarah scratching here and my horse Badger. And in this video, I would like to share with you my philosophy and my theory and my ideas. How to develop our own muscle memory, concentrate on our own balance and coordination when we actually educate a horse flexibility neck muscle from the left and right side of his neck and also concentrate on the horse balance and coordination and not compromise his mental and physical abilities when we apply this physical exercise and educate horse to be flexible to the left or to the right and use this neck muscles from the left and right side and not damage his mental and physical abilities. The best way to learn this exercise without a horse, and a lot of time I educate my students just to put bell of hay, pretend one bell of hay on top of another one, and pretend other student hold the bridle, and another student sitting on top of the bell of hay and apply this reins. Just learn, pick up, give me this nose, flex this neck muscle, and again, Pick up, flex this muscle, give me this nose. So when you sit in a bale of hay and you develop your muscle memory and you're very consistent with your hands, then it's much easier. And you're very consistent with your balance and coordinated. You know to reach down and pick up this rein and apply much more weight in the, in the horse front shoulders and start and make him uncomfortable mentally and physically. So it's very important, first of all, just to educate yourself, develop your own muscle memory, develop your own balance and coordination. And that's how I learn. I didn't learn right away on top of the horse, sit on the horse and start to, it's not a, it's not a punching dummy, what we have to practice on the horse. We have to, first of all, develop our own horsemanship skills develop our own skills, how to apply proper ways this cue, how to develop our own balance and coordination, and after transfer this to our horse. Today we're going to talk about how to actually develop our balance and coordination when we apply this physical exercise. We have to understand, when we educate horse, we have to understand as a horseman or horsewoman, when we actually apply when we actually apply this physical exercise to educate horse, be flexible from the right muscle of his neck and from the left muscle of his neck, that's actually performance maneuver. Horse perform physically. When horse perform physically, if he perform mentally first and after he perform physically. If he is not comfortable mentally, his physical ability is going to fall apart. But what actually, when we can, we concentrating only on his muscle right now, but what actually about a horse balance and coordination, we have to think as an educator, what's happened when we flexing him to the right or flexing to the left, what's happened actually with his balance and coordination of his body? If he is actually comfortable to do this physical exercise, mentally or physically, and how we can improve and help him mentally and physically with his balance and coordination of his body with our own balance and coordination of our own body. Let's talk about conformation of the horse body and how conformation of the horse body can actually affect and help horses, different conformation of the horse can help horse develop balance and coordination when horses flex their muscle of their neck to the left and to the right. So say for example, if I'm gonna dismount a badger and I'm gonna turn badger around, badger around for a second and I'm just gonna share with you. Uh, badger, he's a quarter horse and the way how it, he designed uh, he, Mother Nature designed him, uh, he, his withers very, very low, and his neck com, come out from the withers very flat. So he's, if you look at his conformation, he's very, very flat. He's very straight, like a straight line on top. 
So if I'm going to start to flex Badger neck to the left, to the right, his neck will going to go down. And he will position of his neck will be, his nose probably going to be right here. So I will never, because of, because of his confirmation, I will never will educate him to flex. That's not possible physically to educate his, flex his neck that high or keep his pull that high. Because the way how he designed in a straight line, if I'm going to start to pick up his head higher and educate him flex his neck higher, then it's going to be a lot of stress, a lot of stress on his withers and his spine because neck going to come up here and you have a lot of weight on his spine and his weight. And it's going to start to actually damage after hind quarters. So with Badger natural position, just like he's staying right now, and that's easy for him to use this neck. We cannot force him down because we're going to bring all weight in front shoulders and we cannot force him go higher. He have to use his physical and, and um, mental abilities natural, like Mother Nature giving him. We cannot force him to put his head very low or very high, because if you're going to put again, if you're going to put very low, they're going to create pain on the shoulders and the knees, all weight going to go on the front legs. And if you're going to pick up head very high and teach him to arch his uh, his his pull. Then he have a lot of pain in his spine and his back and in his hind quarters. So say for example, if horses if horses high headed, high headed, the way their withers very high and neck come out very high. So for them, when they're gonna start to break to the pool, then their nose and their pull appear right here. So his weight, when, he, the, when they're going to start to flex their neck to the left and to the right and have elevation of their neck right here, they're going to have much more weight on the hind quarters and less weight on the front end. But that's very interesting, uh, very interesting. I'm going to turn budget for a second here so you can see this. It's a very, very interesting feeling. Because we think, we think as a human, when we flex horse to the left, or if we flex our horse to the right, we think all weight, because nose and uh, <laughs> no, horse nose and neck and head coming to his inside shoulder, we think all weight coming on this shoulder. But reality, that's actually not true. Because any time we flex in the horse neck muscle, you can see how he shifts right now, all weight coming to the opposite side. And for us, it's very important to understand on the ground before we mount a horse, because we have to use our position proper way under saddle. So again, just pay attention when I flex him on the ground, how he switching weight from one side to another side. You see, all this weight coming right now, right here. You're not going to release, and we're going to do exactly the same under saddle. And right here, and all weight go this direction, the shift. So you can see how horse rocking left and right when I flex my horse. So reality, when we apply this physical exercise, we actually taking horse out of balance. And in the old days, in the old days, their brake spirit of the horse, their tight horse neck to the saddle, horse head to the saddle, or they put rope on the horn and flip horse backwards. Because when horse bending his neck, they're taken out of balance. And it's much easier for human to take horse out of balance and lay down horse, and break the horse in the old days, put saddle on the horse and etc. So now very interesting to see what's happening with human. And for us, it's very important to actually have these feelings on the ground and understand. 
So if I human, and I'm standing right here right now, and I'm going to close my eyes so you can feel, and you can apply this, this exercise exactly the same, when you're closing your eyes, and you're going to stretch your neck to the right or to the left, you actually have all weight on the same size where you're stretching your neck. So if I stretch in my right side of my neck, the all weight going to my shoulders and my left leg. If I stretch to the right, all my weight going into the, to the right leg, and I stretch in left side of my neck. So with horses, it's completely opposite. When they're stretching neck to the left, they're all weight going to the right. And for us, it's, it's critical, important to understand this. Because when we're going to start to educate horse, be flexible under saddle, we have to truly to use our balance and coordination with our own hips, our body, and not lean to the left and to the right. So we're not going to compromise when horse perform in physical exercise. We're not compromising and not damage his mental and physical abilities in not making it harder for him to actually perform on this exercise. So let's, for example, for a second, I'm going to mount the badger. And you can see how his weight right now, I'm going to flex him to the left and the right. I'm going to stop talking for a second. And you can see how he rocking to the left and to the right. So we're going to start to work on, on the right side. You can see he going right now to the left. You know, to the left, all body going to the right. So I'm going to stop talking, and you just pay attention on the horse body. Beautiful. So you can see my hips all the time going to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. So for us as a human, that's critical, critical important to be balanced and be coordinated with our, and develop our own muscle memory and sit in a straight line in the, in the saddle. So when horse flexing his neck to the right, we're not leaning to the, to the right or not leaning to the left. We have to all the time play with our hips and feel horse balance and coordination. So if horse is going to rock with his, with, his, uh, with his body, I'm going to work with my hips exactly the same. Pay attention right now on my hips, how my hips moving. I don't know if you can see that. But all the time, I'm going to exaggerate, all the time, he leaning to the left right now, my hips going to the right. So I'm not applying weight with my hips on his left shoulder right now because I'm going to take him out of balance. So I have to work all the time with my hips and be very, very, very straight under saddle and use my hips. So I'm not going to damage his balance and coordination and mental and physical abilities under saddle. So you can practice and you have to memorize and develop this muscle memory. Anytime your horse brain nose to the right, your hips have to go to the right. Because you're releasing weight from this side. Because we learn when horse flex to, to the right, he leaning to the left. Now when horse flexing to the left, my hips are releasing, my hips going to the left, so I'm releasing weight from this side because he's leaning to the right when I'm flexing his neck to the left. So for us, if we will develop this muscle memory with our hips and understand his weight, then it's going to be much easier for us after perform with our body in the forward motion, when we're going to actually, in the forward motion, when we're actually going to start to educate horse, travel in the forward motion, and feel his weight and how he moving his hips, so we will not damage his 
balance and coordination when he travel in forward motion. So it's very interesting to feel and understand when horse staying still, when we flex him to the left, he actually leaning to the right. When we flex him to the right, he actually leaning to the left. But forward motion, that's completely opposite. When horse travel in a forward motion, he engaging, he engaging his inside shoulder. So if I'm gonna flex right side of his muscle, he will engage, engage his left muscle of his neck to his inside left shoulder and stretch his right side of his muscle. And exactly the same, if we're gonna travel to the right, and flex horse to the right. He's gonna engage to his inside shoulder, right shoulder, right side of his muscle, and he going to stretch his left side of his muscle. But what it, what very interesting about this to understand and feel, when we flex the horse and ask him to travel to the left, actually he bring all his weight, weight on this front shoulder. So again, when we travel in the forward motion, we have to use our hips completely opposite. We have to learn and again develop our muscle memory because in stay still, if we again, it's completely opposite side when we f with our hips. When we travel to the right, when we flex for some sort to the right, then we have to reduce weight from the left side of the horse. If he flex him, him to the left, we have to reduce the weight from the right side of the horse with our hips and our balance and weight and coordination, you sit straight in the saddle. Well, this, in the forward motion, it's completely opposite. We're not gonna travel to the left, all weight of the horse will gonna be in the left front shoulder. So I have to reduce my left hip when I travel in the forward motion. So I'm not gonna lean in, lean inside and put much more weight on the shoulder. And exactly the same, when I travel, when I travel to the right and ask horse to be flexed to the right, it's exactly the same. I have to reduce weight, I have to sit very balanced and straight, and I have to reduce the weight of my hip from the right side of the horse body, so I'm not gonna put all weight on his front right shoulder and keep my shoulders very straight when I travel, not to lean forward and not to put weight in, on his front end, and again, not compromise on this physical exercise, his mental and physical abilities, help him to develop this, this, this our own balance and coordination, help, help him to perform on this physical exercise and be comfortable, physically and mentally. In the next episode, I will share with you how to develop horse tissue of his neck muscle and apply repetitions but secret of the applied repetition, he develop muscle memory of the horse. That's relaxation, mental relaxation from the physical exercise. So stay tuned, don't miss this opportunity to learn how to develop horse mental abilities by releasing horse mentally from the physical exercise and develop relaxation on his mental abilities. So he will be mentally and physically happy to come back to this physical exercise and perform for us. If you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And please leave comment under the video. We will really appreciate this. Don't forget to click like to support our channel. So we will continue to develop these educational videos to benefit you and your horse.